Hey y'all, it's Simone Danielle back with another video. Today I'm doing a curly hair routine for the, you know what I'm saying, bald head, small head, but it ain't really small, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, this is gonna be a curly hair routine, no gel involved except on the baby hairs. But yeah, if you wanna see how my hair went from this to this, then stay tuned. So first I'm starting out by spraying my hair with water. Um, it's just water in a bottle. I'm not drenching it, I'm just getting it wet enough to manipulate the curls and you know, work with that. Cause my hair is like naturally thick and yeah, it just gotta be moisturized. Y'all see the little curls peeking through? I'm really trying to look for that gray hair, but that's another story. And then this part of my hair is very weird at the top middle part. It's like, it's like a ball spot, but it's not a ball spot. Like I was born with that. It's hair there, but it's just super thin and super fine. Like, I don't know, it's, it's weird, it's weird. I can manipulate it enough to not look like a ball spot, but it's just, it's annoying that I even have to do that. So then after I wet my hair, I will go in with my uh, Detangling Hair Milk by Pantene. Y'all, this is a Holy Grail product. It smells so good, it feels so good. It's a very light moisturizer. So if you don't like those thick creams, invest in this Detangling Milk. I promise you, you're not gonna waste your money. And I am not shy with this product at all. I use a very generous amount because I just need every strand to be coated. And this is what it's looking like so far, just by putting water and moisturizer in it. And then I'm gonna go through and comb it out. Y'all, I've not combed or brushed my hair since the last time that I cut it. And the last time that I cut it was either before New Year's or the first week of January, cause I was trying to get all the uh, relaxed hair out. So yeah, I've not combed or brushed my hair since then. I've been washing it and things like that, but combing and brushing i haven't done that so yeah this is the first and i'm surprised it wasn't tangled that much <laughs> the way i look like a microphone bro <laughs> and then i'm gonna go on with my go-to hair mousse by i don't oh cream of nature yeah i was gonna say i don't remember but yeah cream of nature i like this hair mousse because it's not watery it's, it don't run like it's just right, it's the perfect consistency. I'm very generous with this product as well, so you know what I'm saying? It's a good time, it works out. I like to rake the product through in one direction just so like the hair can get evenly coated and I don't know, it's just the science behind it that I can't explain. So yeah, after I do that, I'm gonna do like the little, uh, the swirl thing with my hands Mm -hmm. to wake the curls up a little bit some people be asking me why i don't get the uh the curl sponge i've seen the result from that and i don't like that result for me personally i don't like that on me um i never tried it on me don't get me wrong but i'm just saying i don't like the type of spiral that it does on other people's hair i don't like that so yeah i just rather not honestly i couldn't even tell you how long this takes me to do maybe like five to ten minutes five on a good day but yeah as you can see i definitely need a trim and 
the length of the hair does not matter you still need a trim i mean like if you have like a good amount of hair to like a lot of hair you still have to trim your hair because the ends are gonna be looking like that all fluffy and crazy at the top i do have a few ideas as to how i could trim my hair but it's gonna be very tedious and it's just gonna take a lot but i know it's gonna be worth it because i personally don't i i love how my hair came out at the end of this video but it would be so much better if my ends were trimmed Once I'm done with the rest of my hair, I will tend to my baby hairs and spruce it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Make it do what it do. And I'll say for this extreme gel line, um, I feel like Eco Styler will always take the cake because it has the best hold. It may not be the healthiest for your hair, but it, it's gonna hold. For me personally, it will hold. I haven't found any other gel that works better than Eco, so. Till then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna finish this bottle first and then, yeah, go back to Eco. I've said this many times before and I'll say it again. Bro, this toothbrush, this toothbrush, this toothbrush, G. I really like the fact that there's no ridges in it. Like y'all know how the toothbrush be, um, I don't know, it, it's designed for like literal teeth like it's in the shaping of your two front teeth kind of almost i don't know if i'm making sense but a lot of toothbrushes and they bristles be having ridges in it this one is straight across and i really appreciate that because it makes a perfect edge brush or baby hair stencil i highly appreciate that this will forever be my go-to baby hair stencil And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and comment them down below. And I will see y'all my next. Bye.